So there is a little bit opportunity for being less wrong. So adding a little bit other things that we talked about in the course, I've constructed four rules for a good base of judgment about what will happen. So the first one is value always win. So we are aware of value, so we have the definition, you know it, and uh, we know also the difference between value and then if you have to persuade a customer, you have to have a lot more value than the thing they already have, because that's already paid. And uh, they don't have to change anything to keep using it. So that's the value delta. If you have, for example, somebody coming to you with a business idea or a technology, and you want to estimate a loosely held opinion on, is this having great potential? Is this something that could be a big thing? It should be somewhere there a potential for a dramatically improved value proposition. So if you take cryptocurrencies, for example, cryptocurrencies, in my estimate, will not be a big thing. It does not have a value proposition for most people that is better than using the credit card. It has some drivers. Uh, one driver is the desire of some groups to hide their wealth and transactions for different reasons. One driver is that all the big economies in the world keep printing lots and lots of money. And now people see that, okay, fiat money, like national currencies, their value is inflated and uh, it's not backed by something substantial, but the Bitcoin I had also lost 80% over two weeks. So, you know, it's the same shit, the same problem, different causes. But for the everyday use case, it's not, I mean, I pay with a credit card or I pay with my cash, pay with Bitcoin. It's more complicated, actually, in, in most everyday situations. Might, that, might, that is something we might solve with a, with a good app or something. But uh, I pay, I pay. I have to work to get money and then I pay. It's the same utility. It's not much better. I don't get stuff for half price or something like that. So probably, and this is a bit dangerous, but I probably guess that crypto has peaked already. So. I doubt that it will be getting over those levels that we had before. So there might be a factor changing this, like the collapse of the dollar or something like that, but it doesn't fulfill this rule of a substantially better value proposition.